Hey, everybody. Time for a late night recording. Do you like my mask? I made it myself. <laughs> I had some help with it. This is my mask. I mean, I have an actual mask now, the one with the little ripples in it. But this one I made because my mom yelled at me for going to Walmart without a mask. And she's like, you need to have a mask. I'm like, okay, okay, I'll get a mask. I'll get a mask. It's, it's kind of crude, you know, it was made with a sewing machine, but I like the pattern on it. But I think it's going to be one of those things that one day, years and years from now, when you go into a museum, you're going to see something like this and it's going to gonna be like a crude mask that was worn by somebody, possibly a woman, during the corona epidemic. It's not the most practical thing in the world, but it works. So I've spent like the entire day, not the entire day, but a lot of the day trying to figure out if I'm an ENFJ or an ESFJ because I have qualities of both. And I actually think I might be more of a sensor than I am intuitive but I'm having a hard time accepting that because I've been an ENFJ for the past f four or five years. I've taken the test like I said multiple times and I've always gotten well the one I've gotten most common is ENFJ but I've always taken the test on the same website although I did take it on another website and I got ENFJ so I mean it's possible it's possible that I'm an ENFJ but I think I might be just a little bit more of a sensor. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to bounce back and forth. I guess I'll just stick with ENFJ but have ESFJ in the back of my mind. So I am coming up on my mid-20s this year. I am going to be 25 years old. And uh, it's a little weird because in my early 20s, I imagined I'd be in a much sort of a, sort of a different place. Like my life would be completely together. I would be married. I would be in a stable job. Um, you know, I just <laughs> I had this vision of me as a fully matured, fully functioning adult. And I'm like 25 and I, you know, it's just, oh my goodness. Let me tell you, being in your 20s is like going through puberty again, kind of. You go through the first wave of puberty, which is teenagehood, uh, with all the hormones and you're trying to figure out things, you know, trying to get through school and figure out what you want to do for the rest of your life and navigating relationships and, you know, what you believe and things like that. And then you get into your 20s and it's like a second wave of puberty, all emotional and intellectual puberty. Although there might be some physical puberty going on there too. Your body still changes in your 20s. I mean, mine did. But it's just very, it's just very interesting because I haven't done too much research on the subject, but I have read some articles and I know that there are some people who are considering the 20s to be an extended adolescence. So rather than turning 18 and be, being an adult, which is legally what happens, the adolescence extends into early adulthood because in People in their 20s are still living with their parents. They're not financially independent. They're trying to figure out who they are still. I just moved out on my own this past year. Like this is, I've been, I've been away from home nine months, nine months now. And it was something that I was extremely reluctant to do. Like I didn't want to do it. My thought was the only way I'm moving out of my parents' home is when I get married, like out of state, because I, I enjoy where I grew up. I'm very blessed to have a, I had a wonderful childhood, wonderful parents, grew up in a beautiful place that I, that I really like. And so I didn't want to leave and leaving was scary to me, but ultimately God said, you know, time to go, Allison, time to go. And I put it off for a year. I said, no not going to do that. And of course, finally, now I'm here and I'm, I am working. Um, I'm actually, thankfully, I'm still working, becoming financially independent, maturing and growing into adulthood. So I'm entering now into, I'm just about mid 20s. And then I'll be like, I guess at the hilltop for the 20s. And then from there, well, I guess you just keep going up this way because you go to your 30s. I don't know. Another thing is when I was a teenager and even in college, I thought if I'm not married by the time I'm 30, I'm not going to get married. And now I'm like, you know, a lot of people are getting married in their 30s. So it's not it's not as important for me to get married sooner. Like, I feel like I still have time. And, but I've had a I've had kind of a rough time trying to trying to grow up, you know, embracing adulthood. But here we are. It is being embraced, <laughs> you know, with my with my Avenger shirt right here. That was my brother's, and it's 
mine now. It's funny though too because I started my first big girl job this fall and oh my goodness has it been a roller coaster. That's a video for another day. First year teachers, you're gonna get a video on advice for first year teaching from a first year teacher. But it's funny because I entered into the job and everyone there is older than me. I'm like, I'm not the youngest. There was another first year teacher who's just ever so slightly younger than I am, but I'm one of the youngest teachers at my school. And everyone <laughs> looks at me, not everyone, but some people look at me and they're like, you're just a baby. And I'm like, all right, I pay bills, but if you say so, okay. <laughs> people in their thirties are so cool. They have reached the emergence of adulthood, of true adulthood, being in their 30s. You know, they're just kind of like, they've been in this for 10 years now. They got 10 years of full adulting experience. So what do we actually use to define adulthood now? What, what do you actually consider to be like, I'm an adult now? Is it like when you move out of the house? Is it when you get your first job? Is it when you get married and have kids of your own? Like, when do you think adulthood actually starts? I'm interested in hearing what you have to say, right? What is, what is it like being in your 20s? Are you envious of those who are older? Are you looking forward to your 30s? I'm interested to know. Have the best night. You are also incredibly important. I will see you next time.